When you're in Anchorage, you're literally surrounded by water. The city was built on a fjord with the second largest tidal surge in North America. Then there's a pack of inlets, rivers, and lakes like this one, Lake Eklutnet. Now to say that this place is kayak friendly, ha, that would be an understatement. The amazing thing about Lake Eklutnet is that like many sites in Anchorage, it's still undiscovered by outdoor enthusiasts. It's seven miles long, a couple hundred feet deep, um, so it's a huge lake. And it's actually providing the water supply for Anchorage. It is. There will be some people here. There'll be people here to kayak and bike, but not as many as you would think. So it seems like you have the whole place to yourself. Um, it's a beautiful place. I mean, if we stop right now, we hear absolutely nothing other than running water. But if you're looking for a special place to come, get out here early in the morning and you own this joint. Absolutely. Kayaking in Anchorage may be the main attraction, but you can also mix it up. First, you kayak up to the top of the lake, and then you take the eight mile return by bike. Or you can come to the other end of the Trugash State Park and find yourself here in the middle of a rainforest. That's right, the most northerly rainforest in America, right here in Alaska. And you get to do it all by quad. At the end of the day, by quad, kayak, or bike, there are plenty of ways to get to know the real Anchorage. I'm Peter Greenberg, and thanks for watching.